Well, thank you for this opportunity. I'm Binari Manurung from Biology Department of Universitas Negeri Medan. At this moment, would like to present the result of our investigation about genetic analysis of white lip hopper Copana spectra from Samosir Island, Indonesia, based on DNA barcode. The background of this research, the lip hopper Copana spectra has economic importance because this lip hopper can act as a pest and a factor of some virus that cause damage and deed on rice crops and at the end can cause the heat loss of paddy or rice. In order to achieve the effective management of pest slip hopper, the accurate identification, its genetic data are needed to support its monitoring and also its controlling in the rice or paddy field. Based on the background of this research, the investigation regarding the identification of white lip hopper that originated from Samosir Island based on DNA barcoding, MTCO1 gene, has been done. The aim of this research is the first one to identify the Samosir white lip hopper based on DNA barcoding, MTCO1 gene. The second, to understand its MTCO1 DNA gene sequence. The third one, to comprehend its nucleotide composition. And the last one, to know its molecular phylogeny with its related species. The methods in our investigation consist of some activities in field, in laboratory, and the last, data analysis. In the field, we have collected lip hopper by using insect net. And in the laboratory, the first step, we have observed the morphology characteristic of white lip hopper under microscope. The second step there is what we say DNA extraction, DNA purification, PCR amplification by using specific primer. And there is what we say MTCO1 sequencing. The third step, we have done what we say alignment and blasting MTCO1 gene into NCBI gene bomb. The analysis of data consists of MTCO1 DNA gene length, nucleotide composition, and molecular phylogeny. What is the result of this investigation? The first one, the characteristic and the length of MTCO1 DNA gene of white lip hopper that come from Samosir Island. The result of our investigation so the length of MTC1 DNA white lip hopper that come from Samosir Island was 333 base pair. And when we compare this length into other lip hopper that also come from Samosir Island, like into Maestas dorsalis, Nepotetix piresen, Nepotetix nigropictus, the length of MTCO1 DNA gene of this white lip hopper still shorter. The next, what is the kind of white lip hopper that could be found on rice field in Samosir Island? The result of blasting of MTCO1 gene on NCBI gene bank so the white lip hopper of Samosir Island belong into Copana spectra. In this case, the white lip hopper Copana spectra that come from Samosir Island has similarity until 99.27% with MTCO1 DNA gene of Copana spectra isolated from Kerala, India. How about the nucleotide composition of white lip hopper that come from Samosir Island? The result of our investigation show the percentage of the mean in white lip hopper 
that is until 41.96% cytosine 15.47% adenine 28.57% and the last one the concentration of guanine 13.98% based on this data we can say that the nucleotide of white lip hopper that come from Samosir Island is bias on nucleotide adenine timine and on uracil. How about its phylogenetic based on molecular data? The result of our investigation show the white lip hopper of Samosir Island, in this case a sample SE1, belong into one group. We say that as monophyletic group with Copana spectra that come from Kerala, India. Now, what is the conclusion of our investigation? The first, the length of MTC1 DNA gene of Samosir with white lip hopper is 333 base pair. The second, based on blasting of MTC1 gene on NCBI gene bank, it's confirmed that white lip hopper of Samosir Island belong to species Copana spectra distant. And the third one, the nucleotide composition of white Samosir Copana spectra is bias to nucleotide adenine timine or uracil. And the last one, the Samosir white lip hopper Copana spectra is the nearest relative of Copana spectra from Kerala, India. Thank you. <laughs> And thank you for your attention.